Hello, Nikki from Motor For You. Today we have a Peugeot 2008. This is finished in Camulus Grey Metallic. This is a GT line. This car has had one owner from new. On this car, we have parked distance to the front. We can see the sensors just along the bottom of this front bumper. If we then come round to the side, you can see that this car comes with 18 inch diamond cut alloys. If we then start to make our way around the rest of the car, past the B pillar, we have privacy glass. And then as we come to the back, we can see just along this rear bumper, we have a rear park distance. If we then open up the boot. In the boot, there is a charging cable as this is a fully electric car. Once inside the car, you can see that we have electric windows all around with your window lock button just below. We also have electric folding mirrors. We have a multifunctional steering wheel on this car with the GT button badge at the bottom. On the left hand side we have voice control as well as your volume and then the dial here correlates to the screen just there. And then on the right hand side we have your list button, your source button, your phone button and then also this changes your stations and tracks. We have automatic wipers and automatic lights on this car. If we then look to the centre console, there is an armrest just here, which we can lift up, and there is a storage compartment just in there. We also have two cup holders, which we can see just here. And that is currently where I have the key, as this car is a keyless start car. We then have the button here, which changes your driving modes. We have normal, sport and eco on this car. We then have a storage cubby here, where we have a 12 volt socket. We also have a USB-C port and a USB port, and if we press this and open it, you can see just here we have a wireless phone charging mat, but that can also be covered over as you can see just there. We then have the piano keys along here, which correlate to the climate control. So you have your front and rear window demisting, as well as full AC, turning it off, recirculation, and then the locking of the car. We then have the buttons just above, which are touch buttons. These are for the screen. And just to the left and right of them, you can see that we have heated seats for the front passenger and the driver. They get three different heat options by of high, medium, and then also low there as well. If we then look to the screen, you can see on the screen currently, we have the sat nav. We then also have the settings for that just to the side there, where we can choose what shows up on the sat nav we can then go to the radio button where this is what the radio looks like we have dab and fm we then also have the different sources of radio bluetooth usb and ipod these will show up when they are active so if you have a line in for the usb port it will then show up same with the bluetooth when you have a phone connected that will then show up as an option as well we then have the radio settings just here where we have the general ones and then also you can choose any announcements and then we can also adjust the audio settings through this part of the car as well we then adjust the climate control for this car through the screen which we can see just here we have the fan speed and then the temperature and then also where the airflow will then come from we then have the car app. So here we have your different driving functions. So your automatic headla headlamp dipping, parking sensors, and then your traction control. We then have the more extended vehicle settings where we have the parking. So your blocking of door mirror folding and then your rear wiper in reverse, as well as headlights. We then also have comfort. So here we have the mood lighting. If we press the settings button there, as you can see, we can then change the color and the intensity. For the colour, we have eight different variations that we can choose from. And you can see just here, the ambient lighting runs just along there. We then can look at the safety. So here we have the active safety brake, speed recommendation, driver attention warning, blind spot monitoring, and also traffic sign recognition. If we then press that button there, that then brings up the telephone app, which becomes functional when you have a phone connected. You will then be able to make and receive calls through the car. With this car, we do also have the option of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, as well as the Peugeot connected apps. Again, when you have a phone connected, you will then be able to access these parts of the screen. And then finally, we have the energy app for the car. So we have, we can check the flow as well as the statistics and then also plan a charge for the car just there. 
on this car, we do have a reversing camera, which we can see on the screen just there. We have guidelines, and as I rotate the steering wheel, the guidelines move with the steering wheel. We do also have a 360 degree camera, which as you move, it will then show what is around you. So currently it's got the black lines just there, but as I, if I was to move it backwards, it would then scan what is around me and show what is there. We then have a look at the seats. Here we have the driver's side seat. We can then come round to the back where we have three seats in the back. There is Isofix just along the bottom there, which you reveal by undoing the zip. And we also have two charging points in the back for the rear passengers. If you have any questions or queries on this car, please contact us at motor for You. Alternatively, you can give us a call on 01580 879 666.